Hello and welcome to my video about port forwarding. This is the second video of the, the series of setting up a Minecraft server. Today I'll be going over single router port forwarding, what port forwarding is, in fact, and how to do it with a couple of routers in a chain. So, remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell button, and let's get right in. Okay, so, um, you got the world. Um, you think they could just easily access it like that? Well, they can't. That is, um, just doesn't happen that way. In fact, because the router is in the way. So this is for single routers. Uh, so you got the world and they want to access your server. You need to go, um, what you need to do is port forward. And that is basically when you get the server's port Usually for Minecraft servers, it's 25565. So you got the port right here. And then you got the um, IP. Usually it's the local IP um, that you do, which is usually 192.168, but it really varies. Like that. And then if it's only one router, then you'll probably have a one. or it could be any number, in fact. And then the device number. Let's say this is second, the second device. So you take these to the router and you do port forwarding, which is basically allowing it into the network and allowing only to access the server. So basically allowing it into the network. So then when the world is like, um, I want to go to the, I, the public IP of the server, with this port, they go to this router. This router automatically knows that they want to access this uh, server, so they just let them in. So that's basically port forwarding, but sometimes it's a little harder. Like when we get to, well, when we get to like, to router port forwarding. But now, to basically, to do it, you got the IP. Usually it's the local IP. It might ask for the um, like um, public IP. They might, but just, it's, it's probably self-explanatory on every like internet website. Well, not every website, but like the router website. So the private IP, 192.1. 68 dot let's say 1 dot 2 port the port usually for minecraft servers uh, 25565 then uh, for bedrock servers it's something starting with 191 not fully sure but then you got the protocol which is for minecraft um, java servers and bedrock servers it's both you, it's bit, or sometimes it could be called um, a type of service but then you also got like uh, the service name that you also got a type which you can which really doesn't matter what you put you could just put minecraft server so that's that um, then going on to um, basically multiple router setups this is when it where it gets tricky <laughs> um because you got the server uh once again they can't access it like this so what they need to do is you need a port forward the port 25565 with this server's ip address 192.168.1 to basically let's say and then let's say the root the second router's IP addresses it's usually local ones but not its own address but this router's address for this router so basically how routers work is this router this router would be 192.168.1 since this is the first router usually it's like that dot one since the router is usually the first item in the devices list so that's how it would be but then this router could also be 192.168.2.1 .1, 
if it's on this network, but you want it to be, but it would probably be the second uh, device on this router's network. So it would be 192.168.1.1. Um, so then what you would do is you would port forward this port to this router so if the world was there Like if the world was there It would be able to connect, but that's not how it happens since you got another router blocking the way So um, Now what you do is you port forward this router's IP address with Two five five six five, and you give that information to this router. Um, that would work. So that's basically port forwarding in a nutshell um, with multiple networks. So it, it it's sometimes quite hard to do, but it's doable for sure. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.